Hello everybody, and welcome back to Mystery Case Files, Moths to a Flame. And we're going to go back to the bonus game. Okay. Oh, I better control these power surges or the bomb will fry me before it explodes. Yeah, I don't know how you're going to do that. Um. Okay, I'm here. Oh. Just put these in there? I thought you'd get electrocuted. One of the balls in the chains by using the upper. Okay, I did good. All the bars, a bar can only be pulled out if it's not being blocked by another. Oh, okay, so it's this. Okay. So one of them needs to be. Oh, I see. one. I did the second one already, apparently. Which is cool. So it's that. That. And that. Insert. Grab it. Okay. Okay, so what's the goal? Okay, so we need to do that. And then we need to do that, right? I mean, the good news is, I successfully did it. Okay. Oh, that won't work, huh? Let's start with the big ones first. Okay, so if we do that, now we need this one to be in a spot. And that won't work. Boom. 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 And boom. Got it. Okay, now what am I doing here? Place the dominoes so that the ends have identical symbols. Use all the dominoes along the pyramid. Okay. Uh, 
Got it. Boom. Perfect, except for the fact that we have no square one. Actually, we do. We have that. Um, then we have this. But the issue is, even with that, we don't have enough pieces. Place the dominoes so that the ends have identical symbols. All Use all the dominoes alongside the pyramid. Oh. That was one. There we go, and then there we go. That was really the end? Really? Ugh, that kind of disappoints me. Uh, well, we're gonna go ahead and uh, gather all the collectibles and see if that does anything. Uh, that was only seven minutes worth of content, <laughs> but hey. I enjoyed this game, but I just, I didn't get the one here. Really. I swear I did. Although, I don't know where it is. Archivist chamber. I swear I got these, but... Oh. There was one here. Well, that makes sense that I didn't get this one. And only got two more left. Oh, I swear I got the one in here. See, I may have gotten it the first round, but again, I had to restart the game. So. This one, I... Yeah, I didn't get one in here, that's for sure. And voila, we are completed. 100% completed with our collection of stamps here. Which doesn't really do much, but it's completed. So... Stamp collection complete, I guess. Um, so we got all the puzzles in the game. Music apparently. Record will probably save them. And uh, achievements. Play a hidden object puzzle without any mistakes. Use the map. Use fast travel via the map one time. Watch the entire credits. I did collect every souvenir, didn't I? I did. I thought I did. All these are uh, caught and collected.
Well, anyway, uh, this is only going to be a 10 minute video, but that's going to do it for Mr. Case Files Moths to a Flame. I am kind of upset at this game for multiple reasons. One, because of that glitch still. Uh, two, because one thing about Big Fish games, and it's not just Mr. Case Files. Maybe that's why I like some of the older ones better than some of the newer Mr. Case File games. They actually have endings. But, like, that bonus one, he was just trying to kill him. Gave us a couple of scenes extra. Less than 40 minutes. Extra, and voila, we're done. And the, the ending just kind of wraps it up and doesn't, doesn't give it a complete and final finish, if you know what I'm saying. Um... Which is kind of upsetting. But... I still enjoyed this game. Not my favorite Mystery Case File game. Not my favorite Mystery File Case game by far. Mystery File Case game. Mystery Case Files game uh, by far. But... That's okay because it's still enjoyable. And I am excited to see what they do next. But see, the thing is, like... You compare this to some of the older ones, like... Uh, um... Shadow Lake. I know that has an ending. Maybe still be kind of like this, but I feel like this company has to push out so many of these games, because this isn't their only series. They have to push out multiple series and multiple games, because they're one of the biggest Big Fish Games companies that exists, so they have a lot of uh, titles under their belt, and I have a feeling that it just, something has to be lacking in their games, and that one glitch was one of them in this one, and the other one is the endings. Most games have that have that ending where it's it's lacking. Uh, I'm playing another one that I absolutely love right now. It's by this company. Uh, it's called Dreadful Tales: A Space Between Collector Edition, which eventually I will play on channel on the channel. But uh, sometimes there are games I just like playing by myself first, and that's one of them. Uh, the Mystery Case File one, though, I was like, hey, why not? You know, I uh, I have the opportunity to get this right now. May as well go ahead and do it. And everything's fine. Um, so I tried it, and I like it not as much as some of the other Mystery Case File games, but it, it, it kind of looped it back around. But not dealing with any of the past villains, just a psychopath who wanted to be the best detective of all and had to get rid of Master Detective in order to do so. Um, but obviously didn't think well enough for his... bomb trap, I guess. Didn't really go over too well for him, but... Uh, I'm, I'm still quite upset about this. And it's still here. I haven't deleted it. It still upsets me. I hope that they eventually have a patch to this game where this glitch will just disappear because yeah right no I thought for a second that it had fixed itself but it didn't um, I'm still here on this screen on this profile can't do anything at all I bet <laughs> I suppose I better move along So, yeah, I, I have no idea why it does, why, why it was like that. Uh, I think it's about time, then I go, boop, by that profile. So, one last, I'll, I'll delete it before the end of the game. Another thing I don't like anymore is the older ones, when you click that more games, Sorry, when you click the more games, in-game it would bring up this selection of all their other games. So you could see their titles, but now it's just easier for them to link it to a page on Big Fish Games where they have all of their games listed under that. And I find that kind of annoying because I liked it popping up and I could just see all their other games scrolling through here. This is easier for them, obviously, but still. Um, and this is just not just them. Every company does this at this point. So anyway, uh, epics, creating worlds, yeah, so I hope you guys enjoy this. I am going to let the credits play one more time because I feel like these people deserve it. And this is the end of the series, so I will let it play uh, and then I'll play my outro music and all. 
This is this was an interesting game. Not my favorite mystery case file game by far. Um, it was interesting though. And like uh, this game, this this embraced the mystery case file spirit. And I have a feeling that they know that they can't really do too many new things. Like you could see that they were embracing their uh, broken hour one, which again people really liked, which I may have to play that next. Again, I actually haven't played any of that, barely anything. I knew a little bit about it because I just started barely playing it, but again, that might be the next Big Fish game that I play, recording-wise. I know I played uh, Outlive on stream, and it's on my secondary channel, I think, at this point. It may be on my main one, I don't know. You can look for it if you would like. I'll probably link it after this. I linked it at the first video, probably. I can link it after this, I guess. But my point being, it's uh, like, I, I, sorry, I did that one on stream and I know that I should probably stream some of these, but mystery case files, I probably won't stream immediately. I'm probably going to do series on because the sooner I do a stream version, the less likely I can do a recorded version. And that's why I have... Sorry, I'm yawning. I don't know why I do this. I, I only do this when I start recording. Not even when I... Sometimes, not even when I stream. Most of the time I don't yawn. It's, it's only when I record. It's really weird. But, um... The Mr. K's Vaughn Games means a lot to me. And I haven't really played a lot of the new ones. I own all of them. Uh, I just haven't played a lot of the new ones. Which is upsetting to me. But at the same time... This one kind of proves that... You... Even with the hidden object games, Big Fish knew what they were doing. And not saying Epics doesn't know what they're doing, because they do. They they definitely do know what they're doing. It's just the original ones are better. Now this game wasn't bad. It wasn't bad at all. It was the story that was lacking a little bit because like a lot of these games fall to that ending where you beat the villain and then you're done. Um, there's a couple that don't. Um, what is it? I'm trying to figure out what it was. Um, Twilight Phenomena, The Lodgers of House 13. That one didn't fall drastically to it. It had a, it had a bit of a better close than most do. And it, it, it kind of ended better. But then they always have to leave it at like, oh no, there's this additional ooh and ah factor at the very end. And that one kind of just was like threw something at you at the last second. was like, okay, well, there's that. But it didn't need explanation in a sense. It didn't really need to have an explanation. This kind of felt like, I mean, again, to be fair, this, this guy, the archivist, didn't really need any other explanation. He was just crazy. And in that sense, for Mr. Case Files Moths to a Flame, it it didn't need more explanation. So, and I appreciate them bringing back the other cases. It makes me really want to play them. But I also kind of feel it's kind of self-indulging. Because he figured out the Ravenhurst cases, right? But, uh, Epic, Epic, E-I-P-I-X, Epic's uh, Broken Hour one he could never figure out. And, like, I don't know if that was them being like, hey, our cases are really good. You should play the other ones. Or if that was just the the way it came down to in the end. Um, but anyway. So, that was just my thoughts on the game. I still, I still really enjoyed this. I definitely will play it again in the future. And probably on a stream way down the line. Um, I'm less worried about duplicating streams and videos since they're on two separate channels at this point right now. That way I can keep these separated from the streams and then it'll allow me to be able to play these more often. And again, I like these games, but Shadow Lake probably will be recorded first. Again, Mr. Case Files will all probably be. Sorry, yawned. Uh, will probably be recorded first rather than streamed, just because that's the way I want it to happen. 
But anyway, I'm going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.